Welcome back. Well, next week, St. Bonaventure High School quarterback Ricky Town will be honored at school as he's been selected to play in the prestigious U.S. Army All-American Bowl. And as Friday Football Focus reporter Josh Franz reports, Town has another talent besides throwing the football. 44. St. Bonaventure's Ricky Town marches to the beat of a different drum. Literally. Town, a five-star recruit and USC commit, hopes to take his game and his music to the next level. I checked out USC and I took a, a visit, an unofficial visit there, and I just fell in love with the, uh, the coaches. Um, the coaching staff was great. Uh, their offense was awesome. I knew that's where I needed to be. Town seems to have all of the skills to make an impact in the tough Pac-12 South. He's got all the physical tools and you know he's got all the accolades and now it's about leadership and finishing his time at St. Bonaventure on a high note. Being a Southern California native, it was always Town's dream to be a Trojan. But there's more to this senior sensation than what's seen on the football field. I really like music. Um, I play the drums. I've been playing for about five years now. I played for the mass a couple times and then for like a talent show here and there. But I'm not in like a real band. <laughs> Town said he doesn't have somebody that he looks up to in the music world. But it's a little different on the football field. Football would definitely be my dad. Uh, he played college football at St. Mary's. And so he's just always got me in the like, sports world and stuff, so I just enjoyed it. I think at a young age, he, I was throwing a football here and there, and he just realized like I was pretty accurate. So then he, we kind of just pursued quarterback. Town looks to have a bright future ahead and already knows what he wants to do once his playing career is over. Coaching, because I mean, I love this game, and so I want to stay a part of it as long as possible. And so I think pursuing a, a coaching job would be great. Ricky is excited to make his move downtown and play his home games in front of the Trojan faithful at the L.A. Coliseum next year. Well, thank you. All right, tonight, Ricky Town and St. Bonaventure finally played their first home game of the year. And after four, four road contests, the Seraphs hosting Upland. Now, both teams ranked in the top 35 in the state and will pick this one up in the first. And Ricky Town having trouble finding the open man, so he runs it. And that is how we'll get this party started. So next play, Ricky Town will hook up with Darius Vines and he would get the ball and that would be good for the first down so that would lead to this town decides to keep this one himself and go right in for the touchdown so St. Bonaventure goes up seven to nothing over upland okay so the scots turn to see if they can make something happen but mark zavala had other plans he lays down a big sack on the quarterback so very next play and this is not a replay but zavala does it again so back to back sacks for st bonaventure to the second quarter we go upland getting loose tyler hiliski in trouble so he chucks it down the field connecting with eric turner then the handoff to nathan tilford i don't know where he's going but i can tell you that I missed that play, and he went in for the touchdown. Upland's PTA no good, so St. Bonaventure still leads it 7-6. to six. Upland would score again right before the half and would go on to beat St. Bonaventure 25-21. to 21. St. Bonnie hosts a struggling Garces team out of Bakersfield next Friday. All right, Sarah's 2-3. and three. You don't see that too often, but... Of course, they've played that tough schedule. Well, the frustrated Rio Mesa Spartans team traveled to Calabasas tonight, take on the much-improved Coyotes. Rio squandered away some great chances last week in a 7-6 loss to Santa Barbara. We thank our friends from the ASU Cronkite Sports Bureau for these highlights. Way to go, guys. Calabasas opens the game up with a field goal, so it's 3 to nothing. Rio Mesa quarterback Cameron Rout, the read option, keeps it himself. Eight yards out, Rio Mesa up 7-3. And Route throwing the ball deep to the speedster, Jashan Lee. The first of what would be a big game for these guys. It's 14 to 3. But hey, Calabas is much improved, as I said. So they're feeling pretty good still, even though they're down 14 3. And then how about Tristan Gebbia up top to Emmanuel Osochuku? Oh, wow. Osochuku behind the defense, and it's 14 to 10. But Told you, Route and Lee had big games. A little screen pass. This was fourth and 15. They've got the first down, and Lee has himself a touchdown. <laughs> that guy's a burner. 21 10, and Rio Mesa wasn't done. Route, third touchdown pass of the game. This one to Steven Houston, and Rio Mesa wins this ball game by this final score 
uh, 38-23. So Ooh. they had trouble scoring last week against Santa Barbara. They put 38 points up the board this time. Spartans host Buena next Friday. Well, if you watch UCLA 62-27 to throttling of Arizona State last night, you saw a couple of former Friday football focus stars having huge games for the Bruins. Yeah, these Oaks Christian Lions roared in the desert just before a half with UCLA up 20-17. to ASU knocking on the door. That's Ishmael Adams with a pick six. 95 yards for the former Lions star to give the Bruins a 27-17 lead at the break. And yeah, ASU never could recover. Brett Hundley, four touchdown passes. Two to another Oaks Christian alum, Jordan Payton. This one 80 yards in the opening seconds of the second half. Bruins led 34 to 17. Payton, five catches for 151 yards and two scores. And oh, back to Adams following ASU field goal to make it 34-20. And there he goes. Ishmael fielded the kickoff four yards deep in his own end zone. He brings it all the way back. Oh my goodness. Those are some good moves. Officially, it's 100 yards, but that return was longer than that. 11th ring UCLA opens up the Pac-12 in style. They are now 4 You know, It's fun to see those guys do that at high school, and then you see them do it at the next level. Oh, yeah. Boy. And how about Real Mesa? I think I'm bad luck for them. Every time <laughs> I go, they lose, and then every time I don't go, they win. So I won't go anymore, okay, guys? Was that like when you were in high school and you were a cheerleader for them? Did they <laughs> no. lose the games? Or? Or they win? No, actually, we're really good that year. Oh, okay. So, so I don't, I don't know. What now I'm you got the change squad. <laughs> well, we're going to put the show in rewind when we come back with Friday football's finest. All right, here's some more scores from tonight.